Okay, here's another Shore Trooper build update for you guys. Thanks for coming by to check this out. This is completing week three, and week three has pushed us to about two and a half rolls. So it is safe to say that two and a half rolls will print you everything you see here. So right now, the longest pieces I have done so far definitely is the forearm armor, which had to be broken up into four pieces at 12 hours each. We were also able to get done with the biceps and the biceps were probably about 12 hours each as well. We have the hand armor, which was about a five hour print, I believe, printed them together. Uh, this is also an upgraded, this is not an actual uh, file from the Sean Fields folder. This was found on the Shore Trooper Fam website, I'm sorry, the Shore Trooper Fam Facebook page. And these are more screen accurate, but these printed very nicely. We were able to get the, some of the stomach pieces done, some of the back. As you know, the chest has already been completed. This is all together now. Still have to do the seams, do some Bondo, do some fiberglass resin. We have our back boxes. We have some kidney parts, lower back, some of the retrofit folder from the Sean Fields right there. And if you're questioning on how are the bicep or forearm armor gonna feel, or fit rather, what I did was print out small rings of the actual file. So these are five millimeter test prints of the um, forearm pieces themselves. So instead of me having to print out the whole thing at 100% and be like, it doesn't fit, this is just something to test, which this one was too small, and just see how that fits you. And then you can print it based on there. Remember, you have to get your hand through the forearm piece. For example, you have to be able to get your forearm. So you wanna make sure that that hole is not too small. Same thing with the biceps. Printed a bunch of test pieces for the biceps. I ended up going 93% on the forearms. And I think 95% on the biceps. I would have to double check on those. But I will say, if you want to save time and filament, you should be printing yourself test rings of the actual files. This will save you time, money, filament. This is the way to go. So, can't wait to get all of this completely done. So my makeshift 3D print farm, if that's what you want to call it. Um, as you can see, only one is running right now. I'm doing some more blaster pieces, or started the blaster actually, for the E22 blaster rifle. My original Ender 3 is actually down right now because of the ceramic heat cartridge. It uh, disconnected and you cannot resolder the wiring to go into ceramic. It's not gonna happen. So I actually had to order a whole new piece and to change it, you actually have to pull this whole piece out. So be mindful that, you know, if you're gonna be running this 24 seven, you are gonna run into issues. You are going to run into maintenance and we had to take off the board and disconnect through the back and this hopefully will show up today and we'll get this back in and running on the other printer. So that's with that. We're still using our Inland PLA. It prints beautifully at 205 degrees on an Ender 3. We got two rolls of that set up right now. We're actually hitting the halfway point on this roll. Picked up some more nozzles. You definitely need these because if you're gonna be running the machine 24 seven, 
And right now everything else is going well as far as the print, except for this guy being down. So everybody, I hope you're having a good time with your build. I hope it's going the way you're, you planned. I hope you're successful. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, bitches, gripes, or complaints, you could check out the Facebook page, Shore Trooper Fam. And you can also find my personal Facebook page for my build. Look up Ant's Shore Trooper build on Facebook. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and stay safe out there.